Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Fortnite thumbnail. And I'm also going to show you the first time some Photoshop alternatives. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So as I said, if you want to follow along this tutorial but you don't have Photoshop, there are some Photoshop alternatives. So just the first example is Photopea. Now Photopea is in a web browser and you basically have a lot of similar options as you have in Photoshop and you can also open up some Photoshop files in there. If that's something that interests you, the video will appear in the right corner. But then you can also download and install a software which is also free, which is going to be GIMP. So GIMP is actually a very complete version of Photoshop, but then of course for free. And also up here in the right corner, I have a video about that one as well. But in any case, then I'm going to jump right in here. I'm actually going to go Go to file and new here. So we're gonna make a new project here. I'm gonna keep this untitled here for the moment. I'm gonna do 920 by 1080 pixels. That's gonna be most thumbnails on YouTube. Doing 1280 by 720 isn't really necessary anymore. The resolution is easily nowadays 920 by 1080. So make sure it's on that. Resolution I would say around 300. And then we're here to make sure that the color mode is RGB color. Background is white, but that's a preference. And I'm just gonna click OK here. I'm gonna zoom out one time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload my first file actually. So I'm gonna go up here to file and I'm gonna do place linked. So you can see I have some items prepared right here. So I'm gonna start with the background image here. Okay, so we're going to make this slightly bigger than our canvas here. So make sure, by the way, that you have this one selected here. The maintain aspect ratio is very important because that means that it's always going to be the same size right here, as you can see. Otherwise, you'll be able to do some free transforms and you don't want that. So just make sure. It's also the same in GIMP with photo P. Make sure that photo aspect ratio is selected. Placed in the middle here. There we go. Okay, so we go have a background. Now you can realistically do any really places on the map of Fortnite, but because the Fortnite map often changes, I try to do something more recent here. It isn't like the latest season, but it's quite recent. But then I'm actually going to do is actually also some effects on it to make it a bit brighter because our thumbnail is essentially going to be yellow and so the very first thing i'm going to do is go to adjustments and go to curves i'm going to add like a small curve around here now now for now it looks quite bright but you'll see later on that it's actually necessary let's see here i don't want to overdo it either there we go i'm going to bring this one a bit back here i'm also simultaneously going to add another adjustment here it's going to be the brightness and contrast i don't want it to make too bright because we already added some brightness here before so i don't want it to be too bright let's just do around here it seems fine i will put up the contrast a bit higher though to highlight a bit more of the darkened parts here in the image as you can see right here that seems fine at the moment i'm actually gonna add an overlay here so i'm basically gonna add a shape down here i'm gonna put that over our background there we go also make sure that's a bit in the middle here I'm basically gonna do then is make sure it's selected i'm gonna go to normal here and select multiply as you can see that will overlay the image. Now we are going to change it a bit later on. This is just the beginning. But for now we have the basics right here. Now what I'm going to do is actually add the second image here. So back to file and place linked. Going to add the skin here. I'm going to put the character a bit more in the corner here. Now same with the skin. Might not be the most recent one here. But I'm really just trying to do it mostly adapt to the, to the thumbnail here. So that all the elements work together pretty well. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to keep it like that a bit in the corner here, as you can see. Make sure once again, a maintain aspect ratio is selected here. I'm going to click OK. OK, and then we're immediately actually going to change this character. So I'm going to go here. What you can do is right click and go to blending options. Or you can either more easily just double click here. And as you can see, the layer style will appear as well. I'm actually going to give an outer glow here. Say the opacity may be around 70 because we don't want to overdo this either. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to make this a bit more yellow here, as you can see. I don't think I will keep this around 109. I don't really want to change that. That actually already looks quite nice. But as I said, we don't want to overdo the outer glow either. So let's take like 110 around here. Then I'm actually also going to add a drop shadow here. Now just make sure that this one is on 100%. I'm actually going to bring this down to spread. We barely want any spread at all. Let's say one or two, like the bare minimum. But then in this case, we can actually change it a bit. Make sure it's 100% opacity here. Okay, maybe being just spread up to 21, just to make sure that he jumps out a bit. Because of the outer glow, it's less visible as well. There we go, nothing crazy here. Just gonna click OK. Actually gonna import a further last image here. I'm gonna go back here. It's gonna be Victory Royale. The logo here, as you can see. And basically this logo here, I want it to go kind of out of the trophy. Like, it looks like it comes out of the trophy, you know. You know, to celebrate the fact that he's first place. Why not? It could work well. I'm actually gonna have to rotate it a bit here. To make it look like, once again, it comes out of the trophy. I don't know to what extent though. Let's see here. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Okay, there we go. I think it looks nice. As you can see, I'm also looking from afar. I definitely advise you to do that as well from time to time. To really look from a distance how it looks. Because not everyone is going to see this on a PC or on a desktop. Most people are actually going to see this on a phone probably. So that's why you have to make sure that you also see how it looks on a phone. The thumbnail is going to be smaller than when you see it on a PC. That's a little, just a little tip here I like to generally give here. And so I'm actually going to put the layer itself underneath here. But that's fine at the moment. Nothing really much to change here. And then I'm actually going to hide the logo a little bit here. I'm going to add a new layer here. So you go that by going down here and do create a new layer. Make sure it's on top of the image here. And what I'm basically going to do is take the brush tool here. So same tool for GIMP and Photopea. They both have this tool. Now I'm going to bring this down. Let's say it's around 60. That's fine. Make sure the hardness is on zero. And it's a light brush here as you can see. 
And I'm basically going to go around the character here, but more with a dark and orange, light red-ish color. Not too bright in any case. Okay, there we go. Let's go for this, for example. And so then I'm going to go alongside character here and also the trophy. Now, we'll see later on what that does. At the moment, it might look a bit strange here, but it'll make sense a little bit later on. There we go. As I said, just following the character, nothing complicated here. Okay, once again, make sure that the layer here selected is going to go to normal. Actually going to do linear dodge add. As you can see, it's going to add a nice glow around the character. As you can see from afar, together with the outer glow, it works pretty well. Makes the trophy a bit more shiny on top here. And also, as I said, the character itself also has an outer glow. So it looks nice, in my opinion. So if you add this one again here, as you can see, it's really starting to take form. I really start to like it. Then actually going to add the texture is going to be... It's actually going to be the cartoonist, as you can see here, font. I'm going to type what I always type thumbnail actually going to do the tutorial later because i'm going to copy paste the text anyway okay so i'm just going to do it like this for a little moment i'm going to add the effects i actually want to make this a bit smaller here so that it fits let's say around the trophy here approximately I have to make sure it doesn't overlay too much with the trophy but i think we're good there we go it's going to be quite small but it should be doable okay, then i'm going to click on the text itself start by adding a stroke i'm going to keep it on five but once again maybe something more towards orange so once again a bit of a light orange and keep this right here okay for the rest nothing really to change here then actually going to make a gradient overlay here and so i'm going to click right here i'm basically going to choose this one right here but i'm going to do the colors myself there we go i want a bit of a darker color on top here might actually copy this right here i'm going to do the same on the opposite side side and then in the middle she guessed it a bit more brighter even towards here almost there you go actually make this slightly darker i would say there we go did it on both sides this one is in the middle as you can see location 50 okay so that's actually fine by me let's click ok here ok once again i'm gonna add a drop shadow here okay so same i want to, this to be quite orange or in any case quite close and let's see we're actually gonna do the distance a bit further it brings it a bit down as you can see like that, I won't go more than this actually. Just gonna put the spread to a hundred. And the size here, we're gonna keep it, uh, we're gonna keep it down pretty much. Size here, maybe gonna do, there we go. Now I'm gonna add a second drop shadow here by doing the little plus here. In case you didn't know, you can actually add more drop shadows. So you don't necessarily have to use an outer glow. As a second layer, you could actually go ahead and do a second drop shadow. So that's nice. Actually gonna make this one black. And so this isn't gonna have any distance. It's also gonna be one of those very thin and small spreads and we're just going to put up the size a bit here uh, not too much let's just make sure it jumps out a bit so that we can see the text uh, i do want a little bit more here okay there we go then we have the text done it's not perfect but you'll see it look a bit better later on so what i'm gonna do then is go ahead click here and do duplicate layer this obviously is going to copy a layer it's going to make a second one so i'm going to take the second one right here actually change the text to tutorial here there you go and this one can actually make a bit bigger here there's some more space okay there we go that's fine actually going to keep it around here i want to say not going to move it that much. What I'm going to do then is actually take both of these. So I'm going to make sure I click one of them and then hold control and select the second one. I'm going to do control G. I'm just going to make a group. And so I'm going to call this backup. Duplicate the group then. As you can see right here. And then I'm going to actually just make sure that the copy here is selected. And I'm going to do ungroup layers. As you can see they are part again. And that basically is going to make sure that our backup here. In case we do something with the text that we don't like. Or it basically becomes unusable. We make some mistakes. Worst case scenario, we still have the backup of the text right here. Because what I'm basically going to do now is actually make an image out of these two texts. And so I wouldn't be able to reverse that back. Again, make sure that only, in this case, the thumbnail tutorial, so the, the, the copies here, are selected. I'm going to do right click. And I'm actually going to do convert to smart object. There we go. Now we can actually move them together. There it goes. So it just became one image. Now for this tutorial, it isn't going to be that necessary. Because I'm not going to warp or change the perspective here. Because I usually do that. And I want to vary a little bit. I'm not going to do that every time. So basically what I'm going to do then is now I'm going to add some little bonus here. Now as you can see here, I had a lighting image here. I'm going to make sure I do maintain ratio here. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Now it looks big slice at the moment, but don't worry. It's not going to bother us too much here. And basically what I'm going to do, put this lightning around here. I'm going to make it a bit bigger here. So easy, you have to just do like thunder render or thunder png and you can just get images like these also with flares particles it's the same idea I and mean, make sure you type png behind it or render so make sure that's accentuate the fact that it's going to be transparent background which of course what we need here okay so i have to make sure the lightning goes well around character and also on the trophy a bit because we also want some lightning on the trophy there we go now it's not going to be that clear anyway but i do want it to be on here this looks quite nice there we go so now i'm actually going to make it sure it's also the right color so basically going to add go to adjustments here i'm going to add a usage make sure that select the hue saturation here i'm going to do create clipping mask then i'm going to do colorize 
I'm gonna make shorts around here. It doesn't have to be exactly yellow. It's gonna be yellow greenish. It doesn't really matter. A bit towards the orange. But in any case, I want to make shorts around here. I'm then gonna put it towards here. The saturation, as you can see. There we go. We just changed the color. So it's no longer blue, what we don't necessarily want. So it kind of becomes more one with the thumbnail. You know, this looks a bit nicer. But I think I'm actually gonna remove the electricity around here, the thunder. So what I'm gonna do then is actually make sure the lightning is selected. I'm gonna go to the, the eraser tool here. Go select around this. I'm gonna make sure that the hardness isn't like all the way up here. I'm gonna make sure it's a bit smoother and make the hardness on zero. Just gonna see and i'm basically gonna remove whatever was on the character here just gonna keep the lightning that's around him and on the trophy as well i will keep what's on the trophy here i think that looks quite nice once again not gonna be that visible probably but still nice little detail you know actually gonna copy this here same for the use saturation now don't worry I'm going to re-audit. So this one, once again, make sure it's Create Clipping Mask. I'm basically going to put this one right here. Do Create Clipping Mask. And same with this one. It's also been Create Clipping Mask. I now have two. As you can see, it became a bit more clear. Now, sometimes you might have some bits. As you can see, it's a bit square here. What you can do is kind of go around it. It happens sometimes. It's not really that bad. But it's because one is on top of the other. And you're going to basically see some outlines sometimes. So you can just... It's very light, you know, you didn't necessarily see it, you know. It's nice if you catch, you can actually delete it a bit, but it looks less square here, as you can see. Sometimes it's in the small details, but there we go. Now I wanted also to do the same above the text here. So once again, I'm going to copy this here and yet another one. And save for the new situation, I'm going to copy it again and one more. Create clipping mask once again. I'm going to select these four here that we just did. I'm just going to make sure we put them around here. Create clipping mask this one right here. And so basically we can play around with this, you know. Now there's going to be parts where I don't want it, so I'm going to take again once again the eraser tool. And basically gonna remove some letters I don't want. Now this is entirely up to you. I just do what I think looks best here around the text. So for example, we're gonna go next to the T. I'm gonna keep it in the O, but I'm not gonna do the T. Make sure you do that for both cases. Because remember, there are two layers of thunder. So make sure that you do that for both. And once you do it, make sure it's selected, obviously. Same for this A right here. Don't really like how this goes along here. There we go. Select the other copy once again and there we go actually gonna remove this one so once again this is like small details you don't have to necessarily do this it's something i like to do I'm actually gonna do there we go and make sure i erase some here for both layers go with the ones the letters that don't have any thunder I'm just removing basically the unnecessary parts here that potentially are here okay and there we go i'm also actually when i go out here i'm gonna do a zoom out so make sure it's on the zoom I'm actually gonna add a new layer and on top of all of the other layers entirely on top i'm gonna do a create new layer here as before Basically, I'm going to take the brush tool again. I'm going to put this quite high. Okay, there we go. So I think I'm going to go for a bit of a darker yellow here. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I don't overlay this too much because here it's going to be way too much. So make sure you go a bit underneath the image. And I'm actually just going to add, you can see like a highlight, a glow. You've probably seen this already in some thumbnails. And basically, so I don't want to overdo this. And there we go. And some highlights, you can add some, see some yellow here, a bit more here. You can see it adds a nice little touch here. A bit on top, a little bit right here. Bit underneath here. There you go. Okay, then lastly, what you can do, some people do this, is actually take all of the layers here. Basically select all of them or do Ctrl A. Out of all of this, they're gonna copy and paste it. And then I'm gonna make one image out of all the layers apart. So copy paste it and make one, basically one big smart object as I did earlier. And then add the effects. But I'm just gonna add them immediately here. Basically what I'm gonna start doing is actually go ahead and play with the exposure here. Now because it's already quite bright, we don't wanna do the exposure too much here. The exposure itself. Then the offset here, I'm actually gonna bring that back a bit like this. Gamma correction as well, but not gonna touch that too much either. There we go. Okay, then I'm gonna go out back to adjustments here and do levels. Slightly gonna bring this one back and also put this one a bit further around here. Here. Then basically gonna play with the middle part, but I don't think I have to change it that much. There we go. Then as a final touch, some brightness and contrast. And because the brightness is already quite high, I'm just gonna bring that back a bit. And a little bit more contrast here, not too much. Actually, also gonna bring down the exposure a bit, because I think it's a bit too bright here. Okay, and there you go. I always wanted to add some last touches here, but I think I'm going to leave it at this. I'm quite happy with the results. I really tried to give you an idea on how to make a thumbnail for Fortnite. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.